Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today let's take a look at some of the pictures from the ice cap lens kit. Alright, so before we look at the pictures, I want to thank Mark for bringing this up. Wanted to see some pictures of the corals with the different lens so I'm gonna show you what I've captured but uh, what I also discovered while doing that was that this actual lens here the um, glass here that came with the kit is actually two piece so we have the wide angle which is this piece here and the skinnier piece here is actual actually the macro lens so I was able to play around with this and get some macro shots for you guys. So we'll take a look at those images as well. All right, so this first image is our reference image. So I popped the camera on from the uh, mobile device and I just snapped a quick picture to give us a reference. And then this next one here is the um, wide lens. So what I did was I threw the wide lens on and then I just took the picture just to give you an idea of how much wider of an image you get with this lens on. And then uh, this next image here is with the 15K filter. This is the orange filter. And right away you can tell that a lot of the blues has disappeared and it looks a bit more like uh, just regular sunlight. And the next one here is with the 20K and I couldn't tell much of a difference between the 15K and the 20K in this picture. Um, but I do notice a difference if I'm running more of a blue uh, blue light setting. So closer to when uh, the lights are getting ready to turn off. If I pop that uh, 20K filter on, then I'll get a slight different image. So here is another one. This is with the wide lens and then I uh, stacked the 15 and then 20K on top of each other. And now this really looks like daylight right here. Uh, this looks more like 6500 Kelvin. So uh, it gives you more of a natural daylight look. And then uh, as I had mentioned earlier, with the macro, I have actually discovered that uh, the wide lens could come apart from the macro lens. So I had played with that a bit earlier. And I took a few shots of my Zoas and uh, because they were up close about one uh, two inches away from the front and the side glass I was able to just uh, you know take the uh, macro lens up against the uh, tank and snap a few pictures of the Zoas uh, and then here I have the Monty I was able to do the same with the Monty and uh, again, I would lastly with another um, set of Zoas. So there you go, guys. I mean, this uh, lens kit is actually pretty nice. So, I mean, on the box itself, it says uh, it includes the lens clip, wide angle lens, 20K filter, 15K filter. But theoretically, you do get that bonus macro filter uh, just in case you want to do some close up shots. So, I've already got some plans and some ideas where I can. Uh, put a few cores on a frag rack and bring it all the way up to the water line and then I could be taking some macro shot. All right guys, so if you have any questions, feel free to drop it down in the comment section. Like always guys, uh, like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.